All right, today we're going to go over this uh, common fuel leak on the 7.3 liter uh, Ford Power Stroke. It's almost always leaks at the water drain valve, and I've noticed this happen. It doesn't matter whenever the temperature change. It can go from hot to cold, cold to hot. It makes a big difference. Also, a lot of people believe it's because of the uh, ultra low sulfur fuel. But either way, this is a common leak. I'm going to show you how to fix it. You can even fix it for yourself for about five dollars, or you can buy the valve from Ford. I'll show you my way of taking off. First thing we're going to do is um, we're going to start off draining it. Put a drain pan underneath here. If it's still connected properly, you, you're on the back of the valve, it's, there's a tube that runs on the front of the cylinder head and drops. It's pretty much the front of your cylinder head right below the uh, AC compressor. It'll drop right down there. Now this is just my way of doing it. What I do is I take off the uh, wastegate controller here. Take the bolt out, just let it sit up there. Depending on the year, what emissions you have on your truck, like a 99, 2000 would just have one, maybe two solenoids here. You may or may not have the intake air heater. You may or may not have the solid state one. You may just have another controller here. But to get access, I'll just take these and push them in and move the uh, connectors out of the way. I push these tabs in, that's what you hear click, and I put them back. And again, I just tuck them out of the way just so I have more, I have better access to the, uh, to the valve back here. Take a 10, take out, if you, if you have this option. This nut's a captive nut, you shouldn't have to worry about losing it. Take it out of the way. Take out the porcelain insulator, move it. Pretty much have the valve exposed now. And just to get the hose off, I just push it back. Take my pry bar here, push it back, push it down. Now it's out of my way. With a Torx 20 and the fuel drain, take the valve out. Now with the valve out you have two options. One, you can go down to your Ford dealer, international dealer, parts store, whichever. You can buy the complete valve assembly. They give you all new bolts, give you the new lever, give you a new valve. But the valves themselves are never bad. It's always the seals. If you just take these O-rings, Place those two O-rings, that'll stop 99% of your leaks. You can also pull it apart here and replace this O-ring. This O-ring is not common to leak, at least in our area. Our area, I live in the desert southwest. That's almost never leaks. It's always these two. So anyhow, you can replace these three O-rings, and it's keyed. You're not going to get it together wrong. It'll go back together only one way. Again, put new O-rings in there. Put your new lever on. That's also only fits on one way, so you won't get it on. 
wrong. That's the position. This one here, the customer bought the valve, so I'm going to put it on. And the only I can show you with this. We'll put it on. See that has the new O-rings there. Now when I put this on, I'll bring it down and we want to make sure that we have this dimple lined up properly on the top of the fuel bowl here. So I'll take it down, make sure I have that lined up. Get my bolt started. And snug them up. Now, one thing I will suggest, just so you don't strip the bowl, is to tighten them all up by hand. And then just the reverse, plug them back in, and you're done. Pretty much that's it.